Mike Lacona emailed Dr. Noel Swerdlow, Professor of Astronomy and Astrophysics at the University of Chicago. This is his response to Zeitgeist's view. The modern ideas about the age of Pisces or the age of Aquarius are based upon the location of the vernal equinox in the regions of the stars of those constellations. But the regions, the borders between those constellations are a completely modern convention of the International Astronomical Union for the purpose of mapping and never had any astrological significance. I hope this is helpful, although in truth, what this woman is claiming is so wacky that it is hardly worth answering. So when this woman says the Christian fish was a symbol of the coming age of Pisces, she is saying something that no one would have thought of in antiquity, because in which constellation of the fixed stars of the vernal equinox was located was of no significance and is entirely an idea of modern, I believe 20th century astrology. In other words, these supposed ancient Christ conspirators could not have recognized the 12 celestial sections in order to incorporate them into a Christian myth and usher in the age of Pisces, as Zeitgeist claims, because the division into the celestial sections did not occur until a meeting of the International Astronomical Union in the 20th century. Therefore, these claims are debunked. In the Christ Conspiracy, Acharya also claims that Hebrews were moon worshippers, therefore that gives merit to her argument. She provides a biblical reference out of context for this claim. She cites Isaiah chapter 66 verse 22 to 24. Here is the verse out of context, which she used. And here it is in its proper context. These verses do not speak of moon worship, rather as time goes on, all mankind will worship the Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth. In Isaiah 47 verse 13 through 14, God is warning, not the Hebrews, but the Babylonians who are astrologers and moon worshippers, that if they don't stop, they will be destroyed. This just shows the deliberate dishonesty of Zeitgeist's camp. It is abundantly clear why real scholars have not acknowledged Acharya's and Zeitgeist's views. Almost all other sources are secondary and wrong most of the time. A large number of their sources are not even real scholars, and they make wild claims without supporting them. Now that I laid the criteria for Christianity not being derived from myths, I will demonstrate how the New World Order's plan is to destroy Christianity and to make a New Age One World religion. Alice Bailey wrote a book called Externalization of the Hierarchy. She was head of Lucius Trust, formerly known as Lucifer Publishing. It was a publishing company for the United Nations. David Rockefeller is part of Lucius Trust's management. Alice Bailey's book Externalization of the Hierarchy spells out the plan for the Satanists and New Agers on how the demonic hierarchy or New World Order will externalize their rule over the planet. The book gives away details of the plan but tries to make it sound somewhat appealing to deceived minds. The book explains how the New Age, One World Religion, One World Government will be brought in. Alice Bailey tells us who will rule this New World Order and this New World Religion. She notes it will be the Lord of the World or the New Ruler of the World, which we Christians know to be Satan. On page 107 they even admit it's Lucifer who will be given rule. It also says there will be a new Christ as we Christians call the Antichrist. On page 511, 512, it says the three vehicles which will be used to bring in the new religion will be the Freemasonic Lodges, the infiltration of the churches like the Catholic Church, and the education system. Essentially, she revealed, in place of Christianity, the mystery religions will be restored by the church and the Freemasons and the education system. They are fulfilling revelation. If Christianity was a New World Order tool, why would they want to replace it with a New Age religion? The fact is, Jesus predicted these things that are taking place in our lifetime and told us to resist the Antichrist system and to deny the mark of the beast. Now, the Rockefellers have contributed to many anti-Christian organizations. The Federal Council of Churches was financed by the Rockefellers. The FCC was designed to destroy Christianity. On January 31, 1945, John D. Rockefeller addressed the Protestant Council in New York City 
and told them that the answer to the problems of Christianity was that Christianity needed to become the church of the living God. The God of the elite, or their living God, is actually Lucifer, as Alice Bailey noted. Now, Vicep's goal was to destroy Western civilization and to erect a new world order ruled by them. Its method was to dissolve all social ties to nations, religion, race, and family by exploiting social discontent and promising a golden age of human brotherhood, secular humanism, and eventually full globalization. We see this unfolding in front of our very eyes, except over the years the Illuminati New World Order adopted Satanism and became demonic. The purpose of the New World Order is to literally enslave mankind. These Luciferians portray the rebellion against God with the disguise of progress and freedom. I think I am an agent of change. I, I embody change. They are divorcing humanity from the truth of Jesus Christ and replacing the holy truth with a Luciferian New Age One World Government fascist system. Under the disguise of humanist utopia, they are ushering in an antichrist satanic empire beast system predicted in the Bible 2000 years ago before this group was even around.